Hi, this is the answer key and listening for level four, unit five, lesson B. And to begin this lesson, you will first match the, um, the punishment with the crime. So the first one is already done. You want to use these words in bold to help you match the punishment to the crime. So take a moment to match the answers. And now that you've matched, we're going to listen and you can check your answers. Page 46, Lesson B, Crime and Punishment. One, Building Vocabulary and Grammar. A, Read the questions and answers on the website below. What questions are the people answering? Number the questions one to eight, then listen and check. What punishment best fits the crime? What's the right penalty for jaywalking? A fine, maybe? I know it's against the law to just cross the street anywhere, but it's a relatively minor offense, and the law doesn't get enforced much. How should vandals be punished? Well, vandalism can be serious, so they should pay for any damage. And vandals should be made to clean up any graffiti they paint. What kind of sentence should you get for kidnapping? Kidnappers should go to prison for a long time. I mean, taking someone captive is a very serious offense. Should they arrest drivers who get caught speeding? You don't usually get arrested for speeding unless you cause an accident, and that seems fair. But if you get stopped a lot, you should lose your license. What punishment should you get for robbing someone? That depends. If you commit armed robbery, you know, use a gun or a knife, you should be sent to prison. What should happen if you get caught shoplifting from a store? I think shoplifters should be fined at first, but if they get caught stealing again and again, they should go to jail. What should happen to someone who is convicted of burglary? Breaking into someone's home is serious, but first-time burglars should just be put on probation. Should all murderers be sentenced to life in prison? I don't know. Some people get sentenced to only 10 or 15 years for murder. Killing another person is the worst crime, but it's a complex issue. These are the answers you should have. If you still have any questions on this vocabulary, please let me know. And for the next part, you're going to make word webs about crimes, criminals, punishments, and other. So take a moment to add two or three more vocabulary words to each of these topics, and then I'll show you some possible answers when you're ready. There are several words you could add. I just added a couple to each category. Then when you're ready, you'll look at part C choose which word is correct to finish this sentence and then when you're ready play the video to check your answers these are the answers that you should have and when you're ready go to the next page and after you review this grammar about get passive versus be passive, you'll look at the sentences underneath, choose the correct form, um, either the get or be passive, 
um, and also use the correct form of the verb after catch. So after you finish this, continue the video to check your answers. These are the answers you should have. Some of them were a little long, so I put them to the side. So this is the answer for the first one in number three, the first one in number four, and the first one in number five. Most of these you could choose R or, I'm sorry, a form of B, so R, uh, or you could choose get. And just remember the guideline that after should, usually you will use a B passive. So if you have any question on these or the different answers that are possible, please let me know. And now let's go to the listening. Please listen twice. The first time as you listen, write out the answers for these questions. Page 47. Three. Listening. We got robbed. A and B. Listen to Jenny talk about a burglary. I don't suppose you've ever gotten robbed, have you? Living here must be pretty safe. Well, we thought so too. But actually, yes. We did get robbed once. A couple of years ago. We were really surprised. Huh. Were you in the house when it happened? I mean, that would be scary. No, we were away at the time. We were on a business trip when it happened. Um, so the house was empty and there was no car outside. So I guess it was an obvious target, really. So the house looked empty? Yeah, but my neighbor was sleeping in the house at night because she was redecorating her house next door. So one night she came in and saw a few things on the floor and thought, that's funny. And then she walked around the house and saw the window was broken. So she called the police. So they broke in during the day? Yeah, probably late in the afternoon. No one was around and no one heard anything, so... Did they do much damage? No, that's the funny thing. They were very neat and tidy. They didn't make any mess at all. Except for breaking the window, of course. Really? And did they take much? No, they mainly just took our two computers. There were lots of other things that were valuable in the house. Cameras, money, jewelry, even some credit cards. But they didn't take anything else of value. Isn't that weird? Yes. I mean, we both lost a few things, but nothing much. It was a bit inconvenient not having the computers, but that's all. We were lucky, really. So were you upset by it? Did you feel your home was invaded and everything? Not really. I mean, I thought I would be upset. But my neighbor cleaned the place up, and her father fixed the window. So by the time we got home, everything was okay. And we got new computers out of it. Better computers. So that was good, I guess. So did the robbers ever get caught? Yeah. Fortunately, they got arrested the next day. They were found breaking into another house in our neighborhood. Oh, well, that's good. So did they go to jail or? Yeah, they did. They got sentenced to like a year, I think. A year? That's all? Gosh, they should be sentenced to like at least five years in prison. I don't know. There are a lot of crimes that are worse, I guess. So uh, play again if you need to, and then when you're ready, I'll show you the answers for part A. These are the answers you should have for part A. Listen again if you need to, and then you will check the sentences that are true about how Jenny feels about the burglary. And then when you're ready, continue the video and I'll show you the answers. Mm -hmm. 
These are the answers that you should have. So only those first two are how Jenny feels about the burglary. That's all there is for this unit. I'm sorry, for this lesson. Uh, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.